हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू योर चैनल आशीष वेबकास्ट आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल तो वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ हाउ टू सेटअप टू टीयर पी के आई इन्वायरमेंट सीरीज इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल आशीष वेबकास्ट एंड वॉच माई अदर वीडियोज एज वेल यू विल गेट द लिंक फॉर माई अदर वीडियोज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो so let's start this video without any further delay so in this video we will install the stand alone offline root ca so we will perform basically two steps first will be to create a ca policy dot inf file for the stand alone offline root ca and second will be installing the stand alone offline root ca role itself so right now i am logged in on my offline root ca which is ca1 in my case it is not joined to domain rather it is in work group so let's uh, let's create the ca policy dot inf file for the stand alone offline root ca before creating this ca policy dot inf file let's understand what is ca policy dot inf file so ca policy dot inf file is it it basically contains the configuration file that defines the extensions constraints and other configuration settings that are applied to a root ca certificate and all other certificates which is issued by this root ca the ca policy dot inf file must be installed on a host server before you set up is it as a root ca so let's create this ea policy dot inf file so what we will do we will open run on this machine and we will type basically we have to open a notepad file which will be stored inside c windows and its name will be ca policy dot inf click on okay so it says it cannot file so it will create a new file click on yes so there is a proper format for this file so uh, i mean in the description box i'll share the link of a uh, technet article well known technet article which has the, all these steps so i'm also referring to that article to set up this two tier pki environment so these are the uh, i mean configurations we have to save it close this file and it will save it inside c windows so let's check if that file is created so let's open file explorer go to sin c windows and search for ca policy dot ina so it is there so let's minimize this now we have to install the role on this machine so let's open server manager click on add roles and features let's expand this window so in this before you begin window you need to click on next you have to select role based or feature based installation click next so this the server name is already selected we have to just click on next so in this window we have to select the role which is uh, in our case it is active directory certificate services click on add features click on next click on next here we don't have to do anything click on next and it has it is it is saying that it will be installing role services certificate authority click on next and click on install so let's wait for this role to be installed on this machine so the role is installed on this machine we can either set up this active directory certificate services uh, on this server from here or there is another way so let's close this window and open server manager so here you we you see one notification flag just click on that 
and it will give you same uh, option just click on configure active directory services certificate services on the destination server expand this window so uh, as currently i am logged in with administrator uh, local admin administrator account of this server so it has automatically taken the credentials we need to click on next so here we need to select the role services to configure which is in our case it is certificate authority click on next so in this page it will say specify the setup type of the ca whether it is an enterprise ca or a standalone it has automatically taken standalone since this machine is in work group and if it was in the in the domain it would have given us both the option to select in our case here enterprise ca is grayed out so we need to select standalone ca and click on next so here we have to specify the type of the certificate authority in our case it is the first of certificate authority server so it will be root ca click on next so this is uh, we need to specify the type of private key so to generate and issue certificate to the client the certificate authority must have a key and if we already have the private key we we could have selected this option use existing private key but since this uh, we are installing this certificate authority for the first time we need to select create a new private key option and click on next we don't have to select anything over here we can this option is to basically allow the administrator interaction when the private key is accessed by the ca so we don't need to do anything over here we just uh, we need to keep the default options and select next here we can specify the name of our uh, root ca so in our case i'll say ashish webcast root ca that will be name of my root ca so, and we have to click on next so here we have to specify the validity period of the certificate generated for this particular certificate authority uh, if you remember in the ca policy.inf file we have already specified the uh, i mean the validity of the certificate i can show you again let's open this in the notepad so here we have specified couple of things first was renewal key length we have chosen it and it was already there and second renewal validity periods which is 20 years okay so the lifetime will be automatically taken from this template we will keep it as 20 and it will be in years click on next so it will specify the database locations uh, which will be inside c windows system 32 cert log so you can change this location but in my case i mean it, since it's our lab configuration i'll keep it as default and click on next so it's it shows confirmation page it will show all the options which we have selected in the past windows and then we need to click on configure so the active directory certificate services is configured we can close this one now we can click on tools and we can open certificate authority we can expand this window and if we expand ashish webcast root ca you can see this this root ca is uh, active and if you right click on this root ca server click go to properties you can see there is a certificate this is the certificate issued to the root ca and issued by is also root ca and validity is for 20 years so till now we have configured the certificate uh, offline root ca and in next video we will set up the http location for cdp and aia so please stay tuned to my other videos till there bye and take care thank you